Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true dead, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption, which looks utterly gorgeous in the early evening, it must be said, when the lights all come on. And today, we are heading after some action. We're going to go and do some action and murder and rescues and whatever, and... Where's my horse and which horse is coming? It's... Okay, it's the dog again. <laughs> I love how the dog shows up. John Martin just basically hop on and ride the dog out to adventure. It'd be marvellous. But no. No, 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 no. Instead, this horse. Me and this horse are going out to find... No, don't run under the horse's hooves. It will end badly for you. We're heading out there, even though it's getting a little bit late in the night, to go and find ourselves a stranger and do something for them on the way to rescuing Mr. Nigel West Dickens, if I recall correctly. I think that's what his name was. Anyway, right, let's speed this up a little bit as I have a nice little war horse that can go super, super quick. I'm just going off this branch here, and there should be a stranger coming up dead ahead of me in what looks like the... Ah, that's a church. That's a church, but you can tell because it's got a spire and a cross on top. Right, slow it down. Slow it right down here. And now slow and stop and... Are you a bride? Are you a crazy, crazy bride? Oh, we've got a crazy, crazy bride whose husband never showed up on the wedding day. I think we've got ourselves a crazy, crazy bride. <laughs> crazy brides are the best brides. Hello over there. What do you need me to do? Everything all right, madam? It's Miss... Oh. Oh, let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me... Of my Peter. Have you seen him? Yep, crazy unmarried woman who got left at the altar. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. Okay, let's go back to town and figure out what happened. So, talk to a musician in Armadillo Saloon. Now, I know that guy. He was an older guy at the piano. So, let's go and speak to him. But first, if you're planning to have a perfect day then presumably that would involve a church. And I'm guessing this church isn't necessarily looking so hot. Can we even go inside this building? Yes, we can. Okay. It's still standing, but it looks like it hasn't actually been used as a church for a fair while. It's looking in rough shape, to be honest, in the back here. Okay. We have got, sadly, nothing I can actually loot or use here. Unless I can use this bed. Nope, can't even use this bed. That's a shame. I'm guessing that we are, in fact, going to find Mr. Peter somewhere in this graveyard, not in the saloon. But let's head back to town and check it out. Right, come along, horse. Let's... No, no horse. That was too much. That was too much of an aggressive approach there. Right, back we go. And it looks like a bounty poster might just have reappeared. So if it has, that's just flipping perfect timing. Now, I'm actually starting to learn the game map already, which is always a very good sign of an excellently designed game. So I know if I come here and then... No, don't make the horse throw you. And then if I just bear around to the left, we'll rejoin the road that leads back to Armadillo. Right, got a little bit of rain going on here. Now just slow it down. Slow it down, slow it down. Off we pop. Oh dear, someone else wants to fight, do they? I suspect they do. Okay, do you want to die today? Is that what you want? Somebody just yelled, hey, shooter over here. Who was it? Who's got a bloody death wish? Well, I'm trying to find someone to speak to, but everyone I'm going up to is refusing to speak to me. So, you know, understandable, really. I did murder someone in this town just a little while ago because they actually decided to talk back. Oh, oh, oh dear. Two people up. Oh dear. Oh, <laughs> can they solve this problem? Yes, they can. The man with the top hat won. Beautiful. Right, in we go. Let's have a chat to the... Ah, where's the guy who's normally at the piano? Okay. Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. Fellas meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, is what she said. You ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know. Where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. 
let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left me. The dumb wince is still at the freight station waiting for the stage, coach. If you could convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Well, you'll need more than talk with that bitch. Yeah, you know what? The way you're talking about her, I think she's better off leaving you be. I'm just going to pay the musician the $5 and we're going to be done with that. And you just appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm just going to pay you $5, actually. I think your wife's better off without you. Here, this might loosen your tongue. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fella's Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I'd guess. Yep, I'm gonna guess we're looking for a tombstone at this point. But, while we're passing by and while the weather's just flipping lovely, let's actually go grab ourselves a bounty poster over here. And this time, make sure we get that pretty quickly. Right. Mo Van Bar, looking fabulous with a fabulous moustache. Ooh, $80 alive. Oh, la da Yeah, you know what? We'll accept that every time. $80 is actually flipping worth it. That's the majority of a new gun. Right, so bounty target was last seen near Mescalera. I think that's the same place the last bounty was before he disappeared. No, that feels like that was somewhere else. I swear the last guy was up here. Here. No, actually, no, that is the same place, because that's the... That's Oddfellow's Rest in this direction. Let no man put us under. Yeah, we'll head in that direction, do that first, and on the way back, go and deal with Mo Van Bar. We'll grab him. Yeah, that's definitely the same place as last time. It's just now the bounty's a lot more valuable, which works for me. Right, we have got some business to do on this horrible, horrible stormy night. So, horse, come along. We've got stuff to be done. Right, out we come on this road. We've got a quest marker set. Off we go for new pastures. Now with this war horse, and if I just kind of carefully manage the horse stamina, we should be able to get over there pretty darn quickly. We've got a nice trail that takes us the whole of the way. I'm guessing we're heading over to a graveyard. Here we go. Approaching the right area, and actually, I don't see a graveyard watch. Well, it's a bit hard to see. No, no I do thought as much. Right. So, we've got ourselves exactly what I kind of expected in the first place. And it's lovely weather. It's very the appropriate weather for uh, this sort of thing. Yeah. And now we've just got to find ourselves a tomb. And I'm going to guess it's one of these lads. Here we are. Peter Turnup betrothed. Killed by a blow to the head. 1894. And that is completed. Let's no man put asunder. Despite the fact I kind of haven't completed it. Because I kind of feel like I need to like, you know, go and tell the woman. But I haven't really bothered. So whatever, I guess. Like, I feel like that should be an important part of it. Like, you know, go and let the person in question know. But it just doesn't seem to be a part of the quest in this game. And I could at this point head for the bounty. But I can't help but notice right flipping here, very close by, Jenny's Faith. Okay. As it is literally just down the road from me. Why the flip not it? There's an armadillo. We found another one. I like armadillos. Here we are. Slow it down. Slow it down. We've got somebody right flipping here. We've got... Oh, hello. What? What is that? Oh, you're a person who's fallen and can't get up. Hello. You in need of assistance? Hello. Excuse me. Okay. Hello. Hello there. Howdy, miss. Uh, what are you doing out here? Um... I'm thinking. Have I seen you before? On oh, the train, I think. Yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh... Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith, so uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. 
You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no. Uh, I can't do anything. But with faith, I can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. And full of things that'll kill you. <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Well, take care then. Okay, that's interesting. Is that <coughs> literally all we're doing? Help Jenny by bringing her medicine. Okay. So, she's there. I think I've actually got some medicine on my person right now. Yeah, give it to her. Why not? Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Oh, oh heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Lord, praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> you know what? Maybe we just leave her out here. I think that's for the best. Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. Uh, I'm in heaven. <coughs> heaven. Okay, let's just lasso her and get her back into town that way. Nope. That's her faith complete. Apparently my honor is significantly improved by virtue of just leaving this woman out here to die. Lovely. So now jobs in town to play twice as well. Nice. Okay. Well, that's pretty darn good at least. Right. Back on the horse we go. <laughs> Leave her out here to die. That's fine. And now time for us... So you're going to take care of a bounty way over here, in fact. Lovely. But I don't dare actually do anything like fast travel, because bounty seems to like disappear if you rest or fast travel or whatever. So we should probably just head there directly. Though actually, while I think about it, I can, I think, drop a save without actually making time travel. So if I do that... Ah, I can only camp in a clear expanse of flat land away from rocks and water. Well, this seems pretty flat and whatnot, doesn't it? Yep, this here is good enough good news horse. We can actually chill out here. Lovely. So don't travel to a destination. Just drop a save while we're here. Oh, wait. I think saving might actually be six hours on anyway. Yeah, leave. Don't fast travel. Please tell me the bounty's not gone. The bounty's going to be gone. No, the bounty's not gone. Beautiful. Right. Ride the horse. Let's be on our way. And we got a couple of people moving very fast on the trail up ahead of here. Lovely. Can we just keep pace with them? Are we allowed? Or if you're not kind of speaking with them, I don't think it counts as uh, that sort of thing. You know what? Screw the pair of you. I've decided to overtake you. Yeah, my horse is better. Screw you all. Right. Already back to Armadillo. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, I think we're just cutting straight through town. Though slow it down. There's probably pedestrians. Nope, it's pretty quiet. I think it's still very early in the morning. And we're just bearing out of town to the left and moving straight on. Probably actually passing by the church on the way. No, actually, no, I think we're going a different way on this occasion. Because, yeah, we're not going down to Nigel West Dickens yet. We're going to deal with the bounty first. And over the boundary we go. And now I think we're technically on a different little bit of map. Which is odd, actually, because, like, from what the marshal was saying earlier, I got the impression that, like, each bit of map was separate in terms of its jurisdiction. Yet, I've just picked up a wanted poster in this bit of the map that's for someone who's living over the boundary somewhere else. Which feels odd, but whatever. And bear in mind there's another stranger right there. Fine, so there's a lot of little just stranger missions. Right, round here, up we go. So we're now approaching the right location. That might have been him just going straight past me, who bloody knows. And now up we go, getting very, very close indeed. And while it's still raining, we do have Dawn, looking very, very pretty indeed. Right now, slow it down, slow it down, slow it right down, slow it right down at this point. Now I may choose to kill or capture the bounty targets. Well, I may choose to do that, or he may just straight up kill me, so. Probably is a good starting point. Just pop off your horse, and no, don't do that. That's the right button. Let's just creep in there, why don't we? See if we can figure out what's going on. 
So we can capture him alive to... Oh, yes, indeed. We can actually use the lasso on humans, but shooting him in the leg presumably works too. That was mentioned to us. Unless, of course, he decides to flee in a horse, in which case we'd better get our horse going in a hurry as well. Right. Actually, no, I think we're okay for the time being. Let's just get a little bit closer on foot. No sign of any trouble. No sign of any other gang or anything at this point. Oh! No. We've got some sign of trouble here. Fine. So, there's most definitely someone else here. At least him and two guys. So, round we go. And there's... Yeah, he's not... Oh, no, he is moving. Okay, we need to figure out which one's bloody which. And also, bear in mind, yeah, the bare minimum is other two guys need to go down. So, let's just quickly get my rifle out, which is nice and long range. That's fully reloaded. Yes, it is. There's not much cover around here, mind. Which is a concern. Can I maybe just sneak in round here to get a little bit on the closer side? I feel like the horses are kind of giving away my sneaky approach here. Right, in cover. Lovely. This way, at least, I might have a better shot at... What's that? A couple of guys in there or something? Okay, ah, here we go. So that's not going to be you, is it? No. Let's just get... If there's two guys right there, then around here and in here. Now, do they know where I am yet? Do they? Don't really draw attention to the fact. Are you both asleep down there or something? There's supposed to be two guys right there, but I cannot for the life of me see them. Right, you know what? I think it's time for number one to go down. And is he in range? Probably. Yeah, you know what? I think he's pretty... No, he's not. You actually took a bullet to the head, you lucky bastard. Right, okay, hang on, hang on. No, boom, right now, it is time for... And boom, boom. And you're not actually... Okay, it's just slow-mo. It's not actually like in the gunfight. And bounty targets must be looted. Okay, I'm in a little bit of trouble here. Right, I need to reload in a hurry. They're taking cover really close to me. Right, now bear in mind, one of these guys is the target. I'm not sure which one exactly. And boom. Okay, well, you're dead at least. You weren't the target. You weren't the target either, so we can just take you out. And boom, and down you go. Right. There's only the target left at this point, I'm pretty sure. Good. So bear in mind you are... Ooh. I'm not sure you're dead. I think you're just badly injured. So maybe we finish you off just to make sure you don't cause trouble for me. Now I need to, if I can, get up to the target. So let's move over to him. Nice. No, that wasn't what I meant to do. That wasn't what I meant to do. That wasn't what I meant to do. Back in cover. Right, lovely. Now, where's he? Where's he got himself? He must be in cover somewhere. Right, let's just quickly loot all these lovely corpses here, if we can. Yeah, there we are. Loot the body. While oh, it's nice and fresh. Four dollars there. Guys, somewhere over here. I'm pretty sure I see him. Right, round here, round here, round here, round here. Round here, get into cover. There's plenty of cover round here, if I can just... Wait, where are you? Are you on the ground? I think I might have just shot him. Did I shoot you? Are you on the... Is that you? Are you on the ground? I feel like he's probably dead. At the bare minimum, he's incapacitated. Do you want me to maybe just, like, put a rope on him anyway? Because the game doesn't seem to be really acknowledging him as... Yeah, that's right. That's... That's you. Yeah, I think he might be dead, actually. I think I might have shot him during the bullet time. Yep, take the bounty proof. That's why he was still showing up, because I needed to go and actually get the uh, something off his body. Fine. So, I did not lasso him. I just killed him instead. So, oops, never mind. Right, well, while we're here, loot the rest of their camp. By which I mean there's literally nothing bloody here. Well, regardless, the man was worth $40 even dead. $40 is still a very hell- Oh, oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Something's gone horribly wrong here. Something's gone horribly wrong here. Something's gone really wrong. Hello? What the- Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are those two? Now, this is interesting. I've just reloaded the campfire. American Appetites has now picked up a new stage right here. Which I swear was not there a second ago. That woman whose son blatantly got eaten. So okay, fine. While we're passing through Armadillo, we'll check on it. Here we go. Right. Easy. Hop off here. Yeah, I swear this was not here last time I looked at the map. But it's now loaded in, so whatever. Mister. <laughs> She's gone. Who is? My wife. 
She's gone. <laughs> she went out picking mushrooms in the hills. They're hanging rock and they got her. The stories are true. <laughs> What'd the police do about it? <laughs> oh, about as much as you'd expect. <laughs> Made me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> right, that's uh, either the same quest but with a different person, or a second person who's gone missing in the same named quest. Like, that's... I'm not sure. Well, let's head in that direction anyway. We know where we're going. Yeah, we're going up to exactly the same location as last time. Now, let's see if we've got the same resolution. Let's just hop up to the ridge round here, follow the ridge round a bit, and if I'm right, we should come across the purple very, very soon indeed. The purple should show us... Where are we going here? Yes, yeah, a little bit further north. Pretty close already. Just follow the boundary up. We should be fine. Here we are. Penning instead. This time we've got ourselves... Oh, oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. You could really use a ride, could you? Why do you get the feeling that you are? Okay, you know what? Hop on, but just so you know, we're going cannibal hunting. So, yep! Figured that might be what was about to happen. Uh, right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just go over to an actual... You think I won't find you? Hey, my fault, there we go. Got myself a nice shot there. And my horse appears to be fine. So... Just so you know, don't, don't try and do that one with me. And also, in the Wild West, hitchhikers, generally a bad idea, don't bother with them. Now, we go into the exact same thing again, just basically a pile of blood and bone and whatever. Because if so, have we just basically generated the same quest twice in a row? I suspect we may have done. Well, it's a shoe and some bones and some hands and some blood again, so yes, I suppose. Yep. We've just completed that possibly twice. And again, it's marked as completed and there's nothing else there. So, you know what? Maybe, maybe we just go find that guy now. And if anyone asks for a ride, just shoot him in the face ahead of time. It'll just save time in the long run. Okay, now, drop a quick save right here in case it goes wrong again. And now we can ride straight on in and the weather's even improving, which will make life a lot easier, I would say yes. Now, this time, don't shoot the main guy. We want to get in with the lasso and then we can take him over. But bear in mind, he's going to have reinforcements coming in. That's what those guys were. They were his reinforcements trying to stop me doing that. So, we want to capture, not kill. Hop off. All right, now, nice and sneaky around here. And for the time being, let's get ourselves out a nice repeater. Use the dead eye to nail the guys in the head with the exception of the main target. So, up we come, and round we go to here. So, round, 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 into cover. Now we want to... Yeah, we want to make sure we don't hit the main guy. They're all around that sort of an area. There's someone around. I think they've seen me. Oh, they've seen me, alright. Yeah, they've seen me. They've seen me. That's fine, though. Right, so that's one of you. And you are... Okay, none of you are the main guy. Yeah, okay. You're now all taken out. The main guy is most definitely fine. And he's running in this direction at this point. So, now, get out the... Uh, I feel a bit like we're kind of, you know... There we go. There we go! That actually worked much better than expected! Right, get close to him, nice and quickly, and now, hogtie him! <laughs> okay, good! I'm apparently a badass. Now, we could cut him free. Now, bear in mind, we need to pick him up. No, we need to pick him, we need to pick, pick him up. We need to, yeah, carry him. Now, get him on the horse in a hurry, and then we need to get the hell out of here before his reinforcement friends show up. Okay? Now, where's the... Horse? 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 The horse was literally right here. Where's the... Where's the bloody horse gone? I don't... Oh, there he is. There he is. Ink... I can see the flipping reinforcements on the way. Yeah, you see... I see them already coming. I see them already... Okay, horse, you have not helped. You haven't helped. Horse, get on the horse. Get on... Okay, put the victim on the horse. Yeah, now I need to get on the horse myself. 
Oh, bloody hell. Right, run. Just run. Just go. 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 Just any. Just basically start running. Basically start running at this point. You're shooting at your own boss. He's on the bloody horse, you stupid bastards. They're coming, aren't they? Yes. Yes, they are. Now, problem is, I should be able to outrun them. We're taking you too. Apparently we're taking them over there, which is odd because the bounty post was here, but I guess maybe you advertise outside the actual area. Yeah, there's our destination. Let's set a thing for that. So if I loop round to the right here, I think I should be able to outrun these guys, actually. Because I've got the war horse and they don't. So stay onto the path. And now oh yeah, but I can't outrun their bullets. You can't outrun their bullets. Their bullets are quite fast. So now I just need to basically just start in this direction. And now we just head round here. Quick as you like. So now just use up all my lovely, lovely stamina. And now I've got to- Oh, blimey! I may have slightly over... I may have overdone it. I may have over... Oh, this is where this all goes wrong right now then. Okay, and... Um, okay, now go into... Okay, just take him out, take him out, take him out. So, boom. Boom. Are you dead? One of you is dead, right? Boom, and... Boom. Okay, I think you're dead as well. And... One more to come. One more to come over there. Well, actually, no, that's the main target. Who's on the ground because I think I overdid the horse. Right, you're dead now. I think you're all dead now. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. Are you a goodie or a baddie? Because if you... If I see you reaching for your piece, I'm firing, all right? Also, please don't run over this. Oh, no! No! No, my horse! Oh. My horse! They killed my horse! Oh, oh blind me! There's more of them yet, though! Okay, bye! Bye, and the situation's still worse than I thought, actually. Right, okay. Where's that stallion? Where's that bloody stallion? Uh, after your mount, I should have to wait before you can whistle for another. Okay, what about using this warhorse thing? Yeah, how about that? Okay, how about that? Okay, let's just get this guy. Carry this guy. You now own a new horse. It will come when you whistle and appear at a camp. Okay, I feel like this guy's just summoning more and more people. I need a new horse. No one has what happened to the old horse. Horse. Okay, just maybe stay off the road for the time. Can I run? Okay, I can sort of like jog. Okay, good. Good, good. Okay, no, 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 no. Get on the horse. Get on. Okay, we need to get going now before this horse dies as well. <laughs> I think I've got infinite war horses. Just go. Just go. Just flipping go. Okay, screw it. Screw it. Go. Okay, you're shooting your own. Use them as a human shield. It's fine. Okay, now can I... Yeah, you know what I can screw that. Wait, what? How is that not honourable? They're shooting me. They started it. I think I might have shot the wrong guy. I think that was just some guy I shot. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was just a guy who was nearby. And now I feel really bad about the situation. Oh, right. So, on the plus side, I'm basically now I've traded fifty honour for eighty dollars. So I hope that's. I think my horse may just have a defect. Right, well, okay. Um, I guess we're just doing this on foot because we're almost there. <laughs> Why did that horse die? Why do my horses keep dying? Why does every horse I get die? This is admittedly less dramatic and cowboyish than if I just actually rode in on a mighty black war horse. But all right, here we come just... Running in on foot. Dun 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 My horses keep dying. The game's even mocking me by playing the like kind of slightly dramatic music in the background. Oh. Here I brought you a guy. I've lost two horses and 50 on and I think I killed someone to do it. And that gets- No! That's worth a flipping $160 because of all that beautiful good stuff I did. I actually get myself, yeah. Double the amount of money from going in town. Oh, and on a plus 200. Everyone's so willing to overlook that slight, slight bit of accidental murder I did on the way to dropping in the bounty target. Marvellous. Do I have a horse yet, by the way? I'm not sure I have a horse anymore. Do I have a horse? Horse? What happened to that stallion? That stallion that I picked up. You know what? Under the circumstances, I can't blame him for not bothering to show up. No, he's definitely not coming. Oh, no! No, one of them is! One of them is totally coming. That's one of the horses I actually... Yeah, that's one of the horses I rounded up. It's not... 
My horse? Okay, that's definitely not my horse either. She came back. This isn't even my horse, but I caught her. Oh, she remembers me. Oh, Chestnut. I'm going to call this horse Chestnut, and she should be my horse. And this horse is going to not die. Unlike the stupid war horses who turned out to keep bloody dying. No. No, no. Me and Chestnut. Me and Chestnut are going to be friends this entire game, and she's never going to die. She's never going to die. All right, I've dropped a save here, but I know what we need to do. I've been saying we're going to go and visit Nigel West Dickens for a while. We actually need to do it. And now that I've got Chestnut here, my new best friend Chestnut, now, now I know we can pull it off. Because with Chestnut by my side, anything is possible. We could speak to Bonnie while we're here, but we've spoken to Bonnie quite a bit recently. And we've got the lasso, so it's fine. I would say, let's actually head down south and follow this path. We haven't been along before, because we might actually run into, like, some strangers and stuff and whatever. So that might be fun, because, yeah, we ran into, uh... Jenny from the train, just over here at random, so let's actually kind of follow this path down here, see if there's anything interesting down by the river. By the looks of it, yeah, if we follow this path, we should go down towards like a narrow path that leads down to a path down by the river, if I'm reading my big map correctly. Yeah, this looks about right. So by the looks of it, this will lead me down to the river. There's the... Ah, that's the bridge I raced over the top of. Previously, when I was racing with Bonnie, the race that I actually went on to lose, of course, so yeah, presumably this now leads us down to the river, which will be nice. And yep, here we are indeed. A nice path down by the river over here. A nice little moonlit riverside ride. This is all very lovely. John Marston just having an absolutely lovely time right now. We've got to... Oh, save the treasure hunter. Save the treasure hunter from what? What's he... What's he taking on? Also, which one's the treasure hunter? I don't know which one the... I think you're not the treasure hunter. Yeah! Did we save? No, we didn't. Oh, we might have saved you. I think you're alive. Hang on. Stop. Stop. Yeah, retrieve. Ooh. Retrieve the treasure map, you say. Did he die? I think he might have. Did he die? I don't see it. Yeah, he died. I didn't save him in time. Well, I didn't know which one was him. Right, okay. On the plus side, we've just got a treasure map. Okay. Now this, this is good. See, this was worth coming this way for. I'll even get some extra money off these no good bandits as well. Now check treasure hunter in the challenger section. Ah, okay, fine. So basically there's probably a treasure related outfit. In the meantime, I'm guessing what we've got is a uh, treasure map. There we are. So treasure map. Have a little look of that here. What can we figure out about this area? That's right. So. We just need to find some rocks and cactuses. Now, where are there rocks and Oh yeah, literally everywhere. Uh, but, the hangman's noose. The hangman's noose. That's the interesting thing. It's a noose from, yeah, looks like... Step one, noose in a tree. Step two, another noose. And then, you can kind of find it hidden. Yeah, that's definitely... Hang on, just zoom in on this bit. That's definitely a noose there, right? Yeah, that's got to be a noose in that tree. So find a noose in a tree and then in some rocks nearby to that. But I have no idea where there's a noose in a tree. It's not round here because none of the... Ooh, there's something big over there, by the way. Uh, yeah, there's no big trees around here that are suitable for that noose. So I don't know. Also, by any chance, would you like to come with me... Because your owner's kind of dead at this point, so if you'd like to become my horse, I'm always open to having more horse. In fact, actually, you know what? You can come with me. You just come with me right now. Here we are. There we are, horse. Now, we... oh no, sorry, you've got to keep holding that, don't you? Yeah, there we are. So you can just come with me at this point, and me and you can just go on an adventure together. So come along, horse. Horse, come along. Come along. Come along. Come along. It really doesn't want to come along. I'm guessing I'm supposed to just be like, you know, breaking it in, but all right, fine, I don't actually... Actually, no, we can! We can actually bring this thing back to town incredibly slowly, but I could drag this horse anywhere on the map. I'm not going to, because it would take a long time. Screw it, you know what, you can just mourn your dead adventure or whatever. Actually, if I recall correctly, this should be bringing me very close by back towards... Yeah, Coots Chapel, up there. So if I head just a little bit northwest... I swear I saw a challenge on my map or one of the outfits to say Loot Coop's Chapel. 
Now I've visited it, but apparently I haven't looted it yet. So uh, let's go refind that church. Check that old woman's not there anymore. And then make sure we give it a proper looting this time. In fact, actually, there was an older thing I actually just saw in outfits when I was going through the outfit section. One of the criteria for deadly assassin is you need to complete American appetites. I have done that twice at this point, yet apparently it's still not flipping done, which is just downright weird, but whatever. Right, there's the church. Gotta loot the damn place. Possibly looting involves, like, the outhouse? The graveyard? I don't know. Right, okay. Well, Chestnut, you just stay here for a second. We need to, like, have a little looksy round here. Figure out exactly what it is I need to loot. Possibly grave robbing. Maybe I need to do some grave robbing. Okay, that is definitely an outhouse. Nothing useful to be looted in there. There is also, weirdly, a horse and a guy here. Hello. What's your business in this abandoned church and abandoned graveyard, my good man? Anything you're willing to talk about? No. What are you doing here? Are you just visiting a... Ah! He's not just randomly generated. No. No, no, no. He actually came and he did the cross over the grave. Now, would you mind if I literally danced on the grave of your family? Nope, you don't mind at all. Meanwhile, outside we've just got a random bus stop. Fine. This guy's horse. Don't steal that. Aha! There were some containers I walked straight past. Okay, help myself too. Ooh, there we go. Deadly assassin menu entry updated. Let's just keep looting this here abandoned church. It's abandoned, no one cares. It's not sacrilegious. I think it's almost light, in fact. So, as it's almost light, let's actually drop a save and get some time to pass here with my campsite. There we go. Saved. A few hours have passed. We've actually got some flipping daylight now. Beautiful. And I have indeed successfully ransacked that church. Marvellous. Now, horse? Where's the bloody horse? Right, while the horse is making its way to me... Let's just check that their outfits thing, because I am now getting close to yes. Now, complete the Twin Rocks hideout, and yeah, need to complete the quest I've already completed twice, but screw it, maybe a third time will be the charm. Chestnut? Where's bloody Chestnut? There's Chestnut! There we go. Doe Chestnut, Chestnut. Okay, stop a little bit closer to me, all right? Now, if we head straight south from here, that actually might be Mr. Nigel West Dickens in that little building... Right there, in fact. And just in case it is, uh, slow things to... Yep, this looks... Oh, no. I'm not sure this is... No, that's the same church I just looted. That's just Coot's Chapel. Needs to move a little bit away from it in order to be campfire. Don't worry. Don't panic. Different thing. Now, we've got some lovely clear weather for us today to go and find Mr. Nigel West Dickens. So, oh, oh, don't kill the horse. Do not kill this horse. We've got enough bloody horses today. We've got... Oh, 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 oh. Horse. We might just have ourselves some trouble here. Now, admittedly, we don't actually know for certain whether this man is kidnapped or running away or anything. So, just take it nice and slow and easy. And I suspect we're going to have to chase down that carriage. Oh, dear. I don't think he's looking so hot. Old Swindler Excuse Blues. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck, fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor, or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates! I'm coming home! Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. 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 All right, just hold time and put him on a horse. It'll be easier. Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? The closest doctor is in Armadillo. All right. Now, closest doctor, Armadillo. And I may need to do a little bit of murdering 
Apparently this man's got some bad folks after him. Good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me! How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, Fred. The Baller Twins, Walton's gang! I know who you are! Word sure travels fast around here. I'm a man with many connections. Spare my life, I beg of you. My God! Come back and finish me off! Okay, so he's gonna get himself shot, and also there's people, right, trying to shoot him. And even if we just, like, collide with things, that's bad for him. Luckily, they seem to have fallen behind a little bit, so... Actually, we might just be able to flip and outrun them. Yeah, okay, fine. If we just want to flip and outrun them in a carriage, it's a bit embarrassing for them, but the job seems to be going just fine. How far do we actually have to get? That's the wrong way! That's the wrong... Oh, this is gonna be bad for his health. Yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry, just horses. I just took a wrong turn. Oh, they took the wrong turn, too! I just led them up the wrong path. Oh, no, no, okay. I may need to go into, I'm being shot actually quite badly too. Right, so just shoot them, shoot his horse. Okay, just, you know what? Maybe just do that. That's fine, there we are. We've still got a little bit of, no. All right, wait, there we go. Shoot you, shoot you, shoot you in the horse. There we go, lovely. Now, calm down, calm, no, calm down. Calm down, I've taken out a cactus. Reverse, put the carriage into reverse. I just slightly went the wrong way there. Now, around here, don't hit any, don't hit any rocks. I've taken out a couple of bandits. Everything's under control. How much further is it to Armadillo? It should be pretty bloody close. It's gonna be, oh. Yeah, there's two up ahead yet, fine. But after that, it's pretty much a straight shot. So, just prepare and prepare and prepare. No, prepare and boom. And boom. Okay, that's got to be good enough. That's got to be good enough. No, you're not quite dead yet. And I don't have any flipping. Oh, dear. Right, okay. Go, go. Just hit him with the reins. Hit him with the reins. Hit him with the reins. I'll get a little bit of... Actually, I think my dead eye only comes back from shooting folks. It doesn't come back and he's almost dead. Right, okay, this is bad. This is quite bad here. And boom. Lovely. That's you taken care of. Bandits! Hoodlums! The scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die! Is that Armadillo? Come on, hurry! Yep, we're almost there, my good man. We're almost there. Life is good. You are not dead. I'm gonna change over to... Actually, I'm still fine. And do I need to reload? No, actually, it seems to reload itself when you're on a horse, so that's okay. Right. Into town. Beautiful. Slow it down just in case he falls off. Oh dear. He just... How did he die? What? How? He just... How? Right, I've got a better plan, given apparently we go a stupid long way round here. We've got... Yeah. If we just headed straight north right now, across the rough, we'd hit Old Coot's Chapel, and then we'd be able to go along the road that doesn't have the ambushes on it. This is probably a bad idea, but I'm going to give it a go. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like that. Okay, but if we can just make it to the chapel. If we just make it to the chapel, there's road beyond the chapel. No, go on, go, 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 go. Make it to the road, make it to the road. Just make it to the road beyond the chapel. Make it to the road beyond the chapel. Oh, he doesn't like it. He really doesn't like it. No, he doesn't like that. And they find you anyway. Okay, they just spawn in regardless. This was not a good plan, no. But if I can get back on the path now... There we go. Get back on the damn road. We're on the road. We're on the road right now. This is actually a much shorter run back to Armadillo. Now I just need to keep the bastard on the road. <laughs> and hope that, hopefully, yeah, all the other guys might have spawned elsewhere. Yeah, because there's Armadillo right there. Actually, I think I've just come up with a genius plan, quite frankly. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. I give up. Okay, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. You bastard. Stay with me. No, we made it. It worked. The stupid plan worked. Where are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but... I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. So we've just deposited him in the doctor, have we? Okay, lovely. 
If that's the bastard thing again, where the woman wants me to go and investigate, you know, American appetite, I'm going to be really annoyed. Meanwhile, 5pm today, I can go and join up with that guy, fine. It is! It is! It's American Appetites again! How many more times? How many more times do you need me to do that? <laughs> you absolute flipping monsters. Right, okay. We're back in Armadillo, and it would appear we've got a few things we can do now. The Marshal wants to... I don't trust all of you being so close together. Yeah, no, maybe we're cool. Maybe we're cool, in fact. Right, the Marshal wants to speak. American Appetites might need to be completed a bloody third time. Maybe this time it'll bloody stick. And then, later today, we can go and have a chat with this guy to see what he's got to say now we have actually rescued him with the incredibly cunning genius ploy of simply riding over open countryside when he specifically said, don't ride over open countryside, you will kill me if you do. No! No, it worked absolutely be Get off the flipping road, you bastard. Yes, I'd say let's leave things off there, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we will speak to those many, many people. And indeed, it looks like there's a new bounty to pick up as well. So we can go and have a look. See, how much is that worth, just in theory? Cody Whitlow, only $40 alive. Honestly, barely worth the trouble. But if we're passing by, what's the location, by the way? Rattlesnake Hollow. I don't think I'm going there for any other reason. If we're passing by, maybe we'll take care of him, but probably not. But in the meantime, I think I should go and get myself the room set up at the saloon. I'm hoping that this is a one-off payment, that if I pay once, I can always have this as a little safe room that I've got in this saloon. Because it was quite expensive for a one-off. You know what? I've had a lovely day. I've helped out some people. I've rescued people and helped out and made some money and whatever. If I am, in fact, just hiring an overpriced prostitute and being fleeced for a single night, go on, John Marston. You've actually, I'd say, deserved it. So, we will go and do that. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. That will happen off screen. It's not suitable for YouTube. And we will be back next week. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut. This has been Red Dead Redemption. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, did people just vote out democracy? Hang on, what have you just done? Oh, go on, let's have the greatest Oktoberfest ever. Yay! Spain and Russia have announced a new alliance as a result of the warmongering of certain Central European countries. Oh, well, excuse me! My leader, from now on, no weeklings will stand in the way of this country's path to glory. Oh, God, Germany, not again!